Hi guys, so in today's video, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be doing a full video on the new Lottie London Shimmer Squad Highlighter Palette and if you guys watched my What I Got For My Birthday video, you will have seen that I got this for my birthday and yeah, I just wanted to try it because I've seen so many people rave about this online recently. The first time that I saw it was in Emily Canham's video where she tested this and it looked amazing and I was like, I need that in my life. So I asked for it for my birthday and my boyfriend Sam very kindly got it for me. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be testing this in this video. Also, I'm going to be comparing it to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit just because I thought that there was quite a lot of like similarities when I first saw this palette. Um, so yeah. If you guys want to see what I thought of this palette, then just keep watching. I would have dressed up a bit nicer for this video, but I'm having to wear like really baggy stuff because I just got my tattoo and it's like right on my ribs. And if I wear t-shirts that are too tight, it kind of irritates it. So I only got it yesterday. So I'm wearing like loose stuff for now. Soz about that. I feel like I like extra pale in this video and I think it's because of the lip color. Don't know why, but whenever I wear this lip color, I feel like it makes me look really, really pale. It could also be because I'm filming this video during the day and I normally film at night. And during the day, obviously, like I have more light coming in through the windows, so there's just like more light on my face. I don't even know. So I'm gonna be comparing the Shimmer Squad palette to the Anastasia Glow Kit in Sun Dipped. And as soon as I got this, I thought that there were a lot of similarities between them. So if I just open them up, so hopefully by me just holding them up, you can see that they have a lot of similarities. The only color that isn't kind of like a dupe for each other is Lottie London the Lottie London palette has this white shade here whereas in the Anastasia one it's got um this color instead so whereas the other colors are kind of like really really similar sort of shades um personally this color in the Anastasia palette I never really use it's kind of like a mauvey brownish sort of highlight obviously it would work for more deeper skin tones but I personally never use this so I really like how this one has got a white um, and I do think that this one has more of a range because obviously it got it has a really light one and it's also got a dark one so you could literally use this on any skin tone and the Anastasia one I originally got on Cold Beauty for £39 I don't think this is actually available anymore I think it might have been limited edition you might be able to get it on the Anastasia UK website but I'm not really sure but I do know that Cold Beauty and Beauty Bay sell the newer Anastasia Glow Kit if anyone's interested and then the Lottie London one I got on ASOS for my birthday from Sam um, but they also sell it on Superdrug and in Superdrug stores and this is 9 99 which is such a good buy. Oh and this one has a mirror as well which I find really handy. I mean it's a pretty small mirror but it's pretty handy. So I'm just going to firstly swatch the shade Summer from the Anastasia one which is the palest one versus the shade The Queen Bee. Um, which is this one and they're the, both the more kind of like champagne -y gold shades So this one is the Anastasia one and this one is the Lottie London one um, The Anastasia one is more pigmented and metallic and it's slightly lighter as well So hopefully you can see this here the top one is the Lottie London one and the bottom one is the Anastasia one so as you can see they are quite similar in terms of like how they reflect, but the Anastasia one is just a slightly different shade of gold. But they're still both really, really pretty, and I really like the formula of both of them. So the next shade that I'm going to compare is the shade Moonstone from the Anastasia one, which is a more slightly pinky toned champagne colour. And then I'm going to compare it to the Good Girl from the Lottie London palette. So this is them on my finger, this is the Anastasia one and this is the Lottie London one. As you can see in these swatches, the Anastasia ones are more kind of like metallic, um, but they're still both like really, really pretty. So as you can see, these colours are slightly more different than the last two that I showed you. The top one is the Lottie London one, the bottom one is the Anastasia one. The Lottie London one is more kind of pink, but they still have really, really nice reflection from both of them. Um, and yeah there you go so next i'm gonna go for the shade bronze from the anastasia one which is the darkest color and then i'm gonna compare it to the flirt from the lottie london palette so again this one is the anastasia one this is the lottie london one uh same thing again really they are similar colors but the anastasia one is just a bit more like metallic these two shades are so similar so this is the colors again the top one is the lottie london one the bottom one is the anastasia one and these colors are so similar like that's pretty cool. Then the final shades are obviously like not dupes for each other, but I just thought I would swatch them anyway. So this is Tourmaline from the Anastasia palette and then the um, white shade from the Lottie London one is called Troublemaker. So again, obviously they're not dupes, they're completely different colours, but this is what they look like on my fingers because I did that for all of the other colours. So this is what those two colours look like. You guys can obviously tell which one is which. 
You guys have seen me use the Anastasia Glow Kit before. I absolutely love this and I think if you're looking for a more affordable alternative then this is a really good one to try because it's literally a quarter of the price and I know the Anastasia ones are quite difficult to get hold of. That being said, I do really really like this and I think you do get more product in this one. Um, but yeah, if you're an Anastasia kind of fangirl then I would really recommend this palette um, but I would also really highly recommend the Lottie London one and you guys have seen me put that one on my face so many times whereas you haven't seen me put this one on my face so I'm going to be putting this one on my face today to show you guys just how it works because I wore this yesterday and I was so impressed. So obviously I can't wear this colour because if you look at it compared to my face it's a little bit dark. Um, I'm not going to lie these two are like verging on slightly the dark side <laughs> the dark side as in when I put them on my face when I look straight forward you can kind of see them um, so what I like to do is mix this one and then put a bit of this one over the top I really like how they have the white shade because then I can get that like super blinding highlight um, so I'm gonna start off by putting this one on my face which is called the good girl which is kind of the pinkier sort of color oh my god like this is amazing I went outside wearing this yesterday when I was going to get my tattoo um, and I was with Sam and I stepped out the car like into the sunlight and he was like, geez, have you got enough highlight on there? And I was like, whoops, I might have gone a bit overboard. Actually, this colour's fine. When I put it on yesterday, I thought that it might be a bit too dark. Um, but I think it's okay. I'm just letting you know that if you're new to my channel, um, I put quite a lot of highlight on just because I really like the way it looks. Obviously, if you guys think that I wear too much highlight, that's fine because I'm me and you're you. You don't have to wear as much highlight as I do. Bit down my nose. The lighting is really annoying me today just because I've got like loads of light coming in from the window. Okay, so this is what that colour looks like. As you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. So I'm now just going to go in with a tiny bit of the Troublemaker. Just a warning, this is so intense. Obviously, because it's white, it's going to be like super blinding. So you just need like the tiniest little bit of this because yesterday I learned a lesson by putting on too much. Um, so. And I am going outside later, so I don't want to look too crazy. Look at that. You know what? I'm just going to put a tiny bit on my inner corners. I didn't bring a brush over that. That's like small enough. So I'm going to use my finger. Okay, so there we go. That's what it looks like. So overall, I absolutely literally like cannot recommend this palette enough. I think it is amazing. I think it's such a good alternative to the Anastasia Glow Kits. And just like in general by itself, I think it's an amazing highlighter palette. $9.99 for four different colours. Really versatile. You could use these as eyeshadows as well. And yeah, I'm just so impressed with it. So Lottie London have done a really good job. I'm actually quite interested to try some of their other makeup because this is really good quality. So I like, I don't know. I wonder what their other makeup's like. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give this a thumbs up. Let me know if you guys have tried the Lottie London Highlighter Palette down below because I would love to know your thoughts. Also, obviously, if you have any other recommendations for drugstore highlights, high-end highlights, I'm happy to hear them all. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. If you're a highlighter lover, this is probably quite a good channel to subscribe to because I make a lot of videos that are don't know, showing new highlights. And again, if you think I go overboard with highlight, that is absolutely fine. You do not have to put on the same amount of highlighter that I do. Like, that's just like a personal preference of mine. I like to glow. So I hope you guys are all having a lovely day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.